Now, there's a new, a new confusion that has sprung up in the past couple of years. Uh, there are various kinds of artificial intelligence programs that within specific domains can understand uh, a problem and understand how to f get the correct answer for that kind of problem, uh, at least usually as often as, maybe as often as humans can do it or more. But one kind of program which is not intelligence is the large language models because intelligence implies understanding. And those programs generate output, but they have no idea what the output means. They're thinking of word usage only. And so we shouldn't be surprised that they generate statements that are false very often, or even statements that are almost nonsensical. They're grammatical, but they don't mean anything. They're, they present imaginary, well, fictitious events as if they were real. And yet they're being called artificial intelligence. And most people on seeing that assume that the output of these programs can be believed, but it can't be. They have no idea of what's true. They don't understand the statements they generate, and so we shouldn't call them AI, and I never do. Sometimes I call them bullshit generators. Bullshit is defined as generating statements, producing statements with indifference to their truth or falsehood. Of course, if you can't understand truth and falsehood, you can't be anything but indifferent to it. And that's what those programs are like. There are also humans that output bullshit who are presumably capable of understanding that they're, whether they're true or not, but don't care. For instance, Trump. But I suppose as a human being, he would be capable of caring about the truth of a statement if it ever occurred to him to care. You know, Trump has no heart, but he still needs a defibrillator. But uh, a program that can't have any idea of what is true certainly can't care. So we know that those bullshit generators are not intelligence. They can't understand. So moving on from that, one thing we can see is that a website should never use a bullshit generator to do any job that depends on accuracy or validity or truth because it's going to go wrong, and more often than you might think. So uh, it's a very bad thing to change your website to, to be so-called smarter by having it pass what you tell it through a bullshit generator, or having it pass what other people have published through a bullshit generator and giving you a summary that might be total nonsense. It'll be written in good English, though.